Hey everybody, it's John from Coding with John. Today we're going to do a simple program in Java for calculating BMI. Just something real quick. Um, it's an easy calculation to do. Um, so all I've got here is a, a class I've, I've made called BMI Calculator that just has a, a main method and that's all. Um, and just some comments to explain what the calculation for BMI is. So um, it's what it really is, is uh, the, your weight in kilograms divided by your height in meters squared. Um, so, but I'm in America and we use uh, pounds and inches. So that's what we're going to use here. Um, so the, so what, how you calculate that is just the weight in pounds over the height in inches squared uh, times 703. That's approximate. You can go in and look that up. Uh, but that's, that's the conversion we're going to use. It works. It's right. It's awesome. And it's simple. So, what do we need to do? We need to get input from the user, do the calculation, print the result out. So, okay, let's get started with getting the input from the user. So what do we need to do that? We need a scanner uh, input, we'll call it input uh, equals new scanner system.in. This is just something you memorize after uh, doing it for a while or you look it up online whenever you need to do it. Organize our imports. All right, so now we're going to need a variable to put our uh, values in. So, and again, we aren't going to use this one. We're going to go ahead and use pounds and inches. So let's get weight in pounds from the user by doing this. We're going to need a variable to put it in and we'll use a double for it. Um, double weight equals or, uh, input dot next double. So it's going to get a double from the user's uh, input, like from the from the console input. We'll see that here in a second. Um, but we have to prompt the user for that. Like we have to tell them what they're actually going to, uh, what they're actually going to have to put in. So system, well, you can write it out. System dot out dot print line, please, or let's not say please. Enter weight in pounds. Cool. So that will prompt them for the weight. Now, what I like to do when I program is um, is test a lot and, and make sure things work. So let's go ahead and just run it. Enter weight in pounds. Cool. Five. Awesome. The program ended. That's it. All right. So um, and we could test that we're getting that input if we want by printing out that weight. And let's do it again. And weight in pounds, five, and it prints out 5.0 because it stores it as a double, so it does the point out. So cool, it's doing what we want. All right, now we want to get the height in inches also. So we're going to do that. Enter height in inches. Double, we'll call it cocker height equals the next input. And uh, sure, let's, it's quick to do. Let's go ahead and test that out too. Enter weight in pounds, five. Enter height in inches, two. I'm two inches tall. A little more than that. Uh, so yeah, print out five and two. So we're getting the input perfect. So now we have a pretty simple calculation we want to make of that weight divided by the height in inches to the power of two squared. So uh, multiplied by 703. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's get, we'll store that BMI in a double also. So double BMI equals just exactly that calculation. So how do we do that? Weight divided by, and we need to do that height in, in inches to the power of two or in, in parentheses so we don't mess something up or, or do something weird. Um, or do that calculation kind of all at once. So that's height. So you could do height times height. That would work great. That's height squared. Um, but if you want to be super awesome, and that might actually be even simpler. But if you want to be super awesome, you can use math.pow uh, with, that is, height to the power of 2. That's what that does. It takes the first number, the first parameter there, height, to the power of the second parameter, 2. So this is a bit cooler and uh, more extensible if you want to do it. So if, if you had to do it to the power of like 100, 
you could do that instead of having to do height times height times height for 109. So cool. We'll, we'll do it the cool way. Uh, we want this in, let's do this in parentheses. Well, no, that's fine. We don't, we don't need that in parentheses because this, this whole math.pow uh, thing is all in one. We aren't doing height times height. So anyway, this whole thing is contained. So that's fine how it is. Times 703. This divided by this times 703. That should be it. So let's, to be able to see that it's doing the calculation right, let's just say your BMI is colon space plus the BMI. We'll print it out. So Control F11 here in Eclipse. I'm using Eclipse to run this. Enter weight in pounds. Um, let's do something real. I'm going to enter my actual real height and weight. So no judgment here. Enter weight in pounds. I am 220, give or take. Height in inches, I'm pretty tall. I'm 6'5". So we've got a height in inches of 6 feet times 12 inches is 72. If my math is right, plus another 5 is uh, 77 inches. So we'll enter 77. Your BMI is 26.085 for da, 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 da. And I think that's right. I am just over the 25, which is like the anything 25 or like down to 15 is normal and above 25 is overweight and above 30 is obese and below 15, you're a rail. Um, so I think that's correct. So awesome, it's working. So let's do a little bit of uh, cleanup here. First, um, you'll, you might have noticed this warning in here. It wants us to close our opened input scanner, and we can do that here at the end. Uh, well, actually, we can do it. It would be best practice to do it directly after we're done using that input. So let's do it here. Input dot close. And it's just that easy. No more warning. And also, you might see, well, we don't need these uh, printing out the height and weight anymore. That was just for debugging purposes for ourselves. So we could make sure the code was working. And this is kind of a silly thing to print out. You might care about like the first decimal place, but probably not anything beyond that. We don't need like 15 decimal places or whatever this is. So let's get rid of that. Let's format this BMI uh, with just one decimal place and round. So how do we do that? So there's a class called decimal formatter, logically enough, that we can use. Decimal formatter, we call it DF, equals new decimal formatter. Let's organize imports so we can, I think it's called decimal formatter. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. I used it, oh, decimal format. Let's try that. You don't have to memorize these stuff. You can Google it whenever you want to do this sort of thing. Decimal format, and we give it a string of the format we want. Like literally you kind of put in just what you want. Like you can do 0, 0.0. Oh, no, but you need to make it a string, of course. And then uh, you take this DF, this decimal formatter, and just do df.format your double, which in our case is BMI. And that should do it. It should format our BMI with just one decimal place. Go ahead and run that again. 220, what was it, 77? Your BMI is 26.1. And you, as you can see, in our last run, it was like 28.08 something, it auto rounds that using a certain rounding uh, methodology that does pretty much just what you want. So uh, it's doing that great. 26.1. Awesome. Uh, we could do some other things. Like, for example, if you wanted to make this really robust, you could. So right now, if you enter a weight and it, like you put in some garbage, you get an exception input mismatch exception. Uh, it looked for a double and you gave it a string. It didn't work. They couldn't make a double out of what I put in. So it blows up. Program doesn't work. So you could um, implement like a loop 
that tries to get their input. And if it gets an exception like this, it says, hey, you got to try again. And you got to and you keep looping until you get something good, uh, until you get a something that can work as a double. Similarly for height, you could uh, keep looping until you get a good height. And um, some, there's examples of that in another one of my videos um, that is a GPA calculator, which does all of that. So I won't go over it again here, but you could totally do that. Just use the same stuff you see in that GPA calculator video. It'll work awesome. And also what you could do here, if you wanted, you could, and I like thinking up ways you could make a, a, a program more user friendly. And you could say, um, and I wasn't planning on doing this, but maybe let's go ahead and do it. Let's say we won't go into, we won't bother with the meters. And again, this is America. We don't need to do meters and uh, kilograms. But what we can do is nobody knows. Like when I had to come up with my height in inches, I it's like, okay, I got to do six. So I'm six feet five. So six times 12 inches. No user wants to do that. They know that they're five nine or six five in my case let's let them put in their feet and inches why not let's do it so instead of getting the height in inches we're gonna get um enter height feet i don't really know how to phrase that like enter the number of feet you are yeah oh well you get it you can come up with a better word if you want and let's do that so everybody knows six five they don't know they're like six point whatever so let's use an um just a good old int for the height and we'll call it height feet next int to get an int and then we also need to get enter height inches so this is the number of inches you are over that number of feet Height inches. So, mm, 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 mm. yeah, we're, let's remember what was it? 26. Point, let's make sure our output is the same. 26.1, I believe, is what it was for um, before uh, when we were just doing inches and pounds. But now that we're breaking it up, I want to make sure that we're not messing things up right. So now this height in inches, so let's call that, where we want to calculate, like we want to let the user put in their feet in inches and we'll calculate the height in inches so they don't have to. So height, or let's call it total height. Um, that'll be an int too. Yeah, because we have two ints, we'll add them up. We'll, we'll figure that out later. Int um, total height in inches equals, well, what does it equal? We take our height in feet, our height feet times 12 to get the number of inches for that number of feet. So if I'm six feet, six times 12 is 72 inches. Still, I hope that's right. So 72 inches, and then we just add our height inches. And that's it. Now we have our total height in inches, but the user didn't have to think about trying to do that math themselves. Uh, let's go ahead and try it, see what happens. Weight in pounds, 220. Enter height feet, I'm six feet, five inches, 26.1. Awesome. Cool, that's easy. So yeah. I think that's all about where we're going to end this. Again, you could put in all kinds of those enhancements if you want here, make it really robust so it can't blow up when you put in garbage data. Um, but I want to leave that to you to check out. But if you are curious and want more hints on how to do that, go check out uh, my other video on a GPA calculator where we, d we do all that robust uh, input validation. Uh, until then, if you like the video, give me a like. If you hated it, give me a dislike or, and tell me what you actually want to see. And so, yeah, this is John. Thanks for watching.